Black and white Asians, we are one. Black and white Asians, we are one. Yeah. This message now to all those girls. You see all those girls where they say they want to be BBL, they want to get big ass, they want big ass. People they die for this thing. See these girls now, they are having problems. People are dying. Many don't die for this thing. Watch this video. Oh, this one are for the ladies. So you want to be BBL, you want to get big ass. Watch this video, make you learn. Learn from it. If not, you go learn in a hard way. Watch this video, BBL. What did they cost to people? What did they cost to people? BBL. Watch this video. Unfortunately, this one isn't fake news. Yesterday, the Washington Post reported on a fake doctor who got 10 years in prison for killing a woman with toxic injections into her behind. The Washington Post is referring to the Florida case of O'Neill Ron Morris, who pled no contest to manslaughter and practicing without a license. Over the course of a three-year period from 2007 to 2011, Morris injected patient Shatarka Newby 10 times with a mixture of of cement, mineral oil, bathroom caulking, and fix-a-flat tire sealant. In March 2012, Newby died. A medical examiner found the official cause of death to be respiratory failure from massive systemic silicone migration from injections to Newby's buttocks and hips. Just to cut to the chase, the reason why I regret having my BBL is because uh, in the course of three months, I lost almost all of my volume. I did everything that I was told to do. I've been sick. I haven't been able to keep a lot of food down. I have really bad uh, acid reflux and uh, heartburn. So I've lost even more volume. So I'm no longer uh, the size that I was in, in pants. Um, what made me regret it was how big it was and how I felt like people didn't take me serious. Like, people did not take me serious to me. Like, all they thought I was was a booty. Like, but it gives me like so many insecurities. Like, I know how to hold my own when I'm out in public, you know, and I hear people talking or whatever. It used to bother me a lot. And I used to always want to clap back at people when they said stuff like, oh, your butt big, your legs little, um, you look like an ant, yada, yada, yada. I even had friends who were supposed to be my friends that wasn't my friends. That even when they got mad at me, they talked about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they knew that it was a problem for me. And with them knowing it was a problem for me, they brought up the problem areas. And it's just got to the point where it's affected my health. So the whole reason why I decided to do a BBR in the first place was because I was a lazy git. I didn't want to go to the gym. I didn't like working out. I was very unfit and that's how, that's the realest of it all. Like I did be asked, I was very lazy. I didn't care. I had the money and I wanted to go do some, I wanted to go do it and I done it. And I was in so much pain. My bum was throbbing. My bum was burning me. It was literally like, imagine burning yourself with hot water that pain and um, I knew straight away that something wasn't right with my bum like something just wasn't right um, even on the plane back to the UK like sitting down was so uncomfortable for me it was so stressful um, because I didn't get up to walk around and make sure my the blood was circulating in my bum so those things had a big impact on my procedure don't get this don't get this tell y'all this Hurts. Don't get this. Deal. <laughs> Do not get this. Do you understand me? You are fine the way the f you are. This hurts. <laughs> Don't get this. Shit. You get this. Shit. Don't you get this. Shit. Hurts so bad. <laughs> Shit. Now don't hear me. She use her money, go do one. Now she they regret and she they cry. She they advise people not make them no do one because she's going through pains. You they see her? All these young girls where they grow up, all these girls, then go go do BBL. Tomorrow now you go begin cry. They holler say the 
Look at this girl now. She carry herself. Now she carry herself go meet doctor. Pay hey, doctor. Doctor do her for her now. It's in the warrior now. She cry. She advise people make them no drum. Use your brain, young ladies. Use your brain. If you get money, use the money feed your family. Maintain your own, maintain yourself. If you know if you give your family. Then the one you go do this thing, then you go come die on it. Many people don't die for this thing. A lot of people still they die every blessed day. So use your brain. Don't do it. Just be natural as God create you. You look okay, you look nice, natural. Now Karun has said, go meet doctor. They go Brazil. They go this thing. Go do nyash. After a few months, few days, you go begin cry. They advise you to no do After you don't go fuck up. You guys will learn in a soft way. This one no be hard way, in a soft way. Now should they cry? Use your brain. Black and white Asians. We are one. Black and white Asians, we are one. Yeah.